I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll talk about the present. We'll go over the challenge and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. So Pisces, in the recent past we got the death card and it's with the three of swords. Now the death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will and such things, they're not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. This would have been a time of deep transformation for you in the recent past. It was likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you had counted on or, or had gotten used to, they were no longer available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now this transition, it can be a very difficult time for some people. The change though, is nearly always needed. The death card is with the three of swords. Well, it's showing an element of sorrow that you might have experienced in the recent past. It would have been undeniable, but what was on the other side of this sadness or sorrow or heartbreak or pain, it could have been enhanced understanding and joy. So it would have been important for you to fully experience any sorrow that came up at that time so that you could have moved past it. Now this card, it can also point to some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain, it does not make it go away. So hopefully you allowed yourself to experience any pain that came up at that time. But it would have been important for you not to wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because if you stay in sadness, depression, heartbreak for long periods of time, you can get stuck there. And you can just start to wake up every day thinking like, like this is the new normal. And it's not. So it's not good to stay there for long periods of time. But you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others will not be able to do it for you. So Pisces, in the recent past, this Three of Swords that we just talked about in the Death card, it's pretty much saying that you went through some deep change, some deep transformation. Um, and it changed you. Yep, it changed you in a really big way. You might have went through some re uh, relationship difficulty and there was a breakup. There was a conclusion that maybe you came up with or your person that you were dealing with came up with. But sometimes a deep transformation with the death card and like I said I'm picking up that it changed you in a big way and because the three of swords is here now you might have went through a relationship ending a love breakup that caused a lot of heartbreak and pain you might have felt rejected by this person but overall it caused um, Overall, it changed you. Yeah, you are not quite the same person as you once were after this breakup. You went through transformation. A lot of times, break up, breakups and endings will change a person, especially if you had a lot of love for the person that you ended the connection with or they ended it with you or maybe if it, even if it was mutual yeah it takes a toll on us and then usually we become a different person in the long haul and usually it's for the better sometimes it's for the worse people change for the worse because they feel like they've been done wrong 
and then they're bitter. But some type of deep transformation has taken place from this recent past breakup. And I'm picking up that it changed you a whole lot. You're no longer the same person that you were when you first met this person. And there was a lot of heartbreak here. You, you went through some suffering. Sadness and sorrow and pain. So that was the recent past. Now let's take a look and see what's going on in the present. We got the beautiful Ten of Cups. Beautiful. And Three of Wands is, is not so bad. Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. It's a really, really good card to get in a reading. It's not short of any cups. Ten is the tops. So, it speaks of happy family life, even if, even if you're single, to the overall well-being. That goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, much more. Um, also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of the picture. Great card to see, regardless of any question. If you're worrying about a romantic relationship and you get this card... It's indicated that you got nothing to worry about. You and your person, you're on the same page. If it's not formal yet and you hope it comes to that, take heart, it's coming. Don't sabotage anything by causing problems where there aren't, where there really aren't any. That's the Ten of Cups. Now, it's with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, you could find yourself, well, you could find your finances. They're going much better. In fact, it could start to feel like your ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in and you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could start to experience some important success after you've been through some difficulties, which it looks like you probably have. Now the Three of Wands refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts they're seen, they're appreciated, and well-respected. If you're in a relationship, uh, things are likely to be going really well. There's teamwork here with this Three of Wands. Expansion. Growth. Growth, growth is the perfect word for the Three of Wands. Looking ahead expanding and growing now with this ten of cups for the present time paired with the three of wands wow something's something's about to happen for you pisces and it's gonna feel like a dream come true with the ten of cups here and you can't beat this because it's with this three of wands it's gonna make you feel like there's growth. You're no longer um, going through heartbreak anymore. You're now looking ahead and you're expanding. Now, if there's someone new coming in towards you, and it, it looks like it is with the Ten of Cups, uh, they're going to want teamwork with you, and they want to um, they want to grow with you. It's going to make you feel really good. Because you'll be looking ahead. So I'm picking up this is someone new. They could want to start they could want to start a family with you. Yep. They could want the end all be all with you, and it's gonna feel really great. It's gonna make you think, wow, my ship has finally come in. <laughs> it's gonna feel like a dream come true. So that's beautiful for the present time, Pisces. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Two of Swords and the King of Cups. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. Now, you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in this connection. 
and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. And if you are not, it could be time to just bring things back into balance. But this will require a lot of communication on your part. Nothing changes without effort. So that Two of Swords is an interesting card. It has a, a couple of different storylines. But let's get some clarity on it because it's with the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups, it speaks about a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. If this, um, often, well, often it indicates a man in your life. Now, usually when it represents a live person, it refers to a very loving, kind individual. They'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. Now, the King of Cups, it represents, like I said, kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So, nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. When it comes to love and you get the, Queen of, the King of Cups, very, very good news. Very good news. King of Cups is a very balanced and loving type. So, the challenge would be this King of Cups and the Two of Swords. So, when we talked about the Ten of Cups, this is someone new that's coming towards you, Pisces. It could go into August because this reading is for the end of July. So, it's going to be a, there's going to be a challenge here because this person is going to be very loving towards you and this person is going to be the type that's very balanced. Very balanced and they're they're very loving. They're warm, friendly, and tolerant. There's a lot of kindness and compassion that this person will have for you. But it looks like because you've been through quite a bit with the with this um, heartbreak that you experienced in the recent past, that it, it looks like you're going to start to not give this person your all. So it, it, I'm picking up that you might sabotage this connection, but there's something that's coming in that's going to want to offer you a cup of love. Yeah, and I, I'm... I'm looking at the reading right now and it looks like you're going to, you might start to sabotage it. Yep, you're going to ignore a lot of great things about this person because you've been through a lot. You might even start to avoid and block this person and they just want to offer love and compassion. Very warm and friendly and tolerant type, but I don't I don't see you engaging because you've been through so much. So you might just sabotage it. Now let's take a look at the outcome. So we got the high priestess, and it's with the four of swords. Now the high priestess. It can be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. The high priestess, it's tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This is a time that you can rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind and intellect. So it's important to pay attention to any dreams that you have at this time. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Uh, this high priestess, it's a mystical time for you. Magic, it's going to feel magical and mystical. Um, you could find people throwing themselves at you. The problem is, is that you're going to attract all kinds. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So... It's not um, going to be easy to tell which is which. <laughs> I guess uh, 
Well, anyway, I won't say what I'm going to say, but, uh, yeah, she's going to attract all kinds. Magical, mystical time for you, Pisces. So you're going to have the power of femininity or masculinity. It's going to be at your disposal. And at first glance, it's going to feel great. At first glance. But when you attract so many different types, after a while, it, it might just be... Uh, could be a nuisance. Or it could be... I don't know. This depends on how you take it. Some people like attention no matter what kind it is. Some people like it good, bad, and and ugly. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, magical, mystical time. Now, it's also paired with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, it's signifying, it's showing a need for a break. Could be from normal life. It could mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Now this withdrawal, it's not permanent. It is not permanent. Because if you take a look at the picture of the card, I guess you can see this man, it looks like he went up to the mountain tops just to be alone. Maybe he took his dogs with him or some dogs followed him up there and he just put himself to sleep. He also bought a can he, um, brought a candle with him because uh, it doesn't look like he wants to come back down anytime soon so when it gets nighttime he'll have a little light the candle is right below his foot I don't know if you can see it but he put it inside his shoe and it's lit so it's about a need for a withdrawal for a break it's also a sign to give people their space you're probably in need of some time and space for yourself others could have been pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention so don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. If you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for tr trouble. So the outcome is that, Pisces, you could start to s still feel disconnected after what you've been through in the recent past, this heartbreak, or from whatever you're going through now. You might start to just feel disconnected and so you, you feel like you need some rest, some type of rest, or you need just good rest after a struggle. But, so you might start to withdraw from people. It looks like you've already blocked this loving and compassionate person that's coming towards you so you it looks like you just the outcome is like you're probably maybe you want to you feel like tapping into your spirituality as the high priestess or you just um yeah it looks like you're ghosting a lot of people not not only this this new person that wants to offer you a cup of love but you're just cutting off communication. Even with all these people that are trying to fight for your attention or they want to get to know you. Because like I said, the high priestess, a lot of people are um, interested in you. They're, they could be throwing themselves at you. Good, bad, and ugly. But you're you're sitting, the high, the high priestess sits pretty. They sit really pretty and a lot of times they can be quiet and they pull back their energy and... I'm picking up this is what you're planning to do. No matter how many people of interest come toward you. Looks like you must have been through a hard, or it must have been a hard time for you with this recent past breakup. Obviously it was, it's got the three of swords there, so heartbreak is never fun. So the outcome is you sit pretty, you say go right ahead, fight for fight for my attention good bad and ugly but you're, you're taking a break toodaloo king of cups don't want it i'll block and avoid you so you got a lot of people a lot of suitors coming towards you uh, a lot of people interested in you but you block them mm -mm. you're not you're not ready to go back into anything else good bad or ugly so you just sit quiet and you 
sit pretty and you you rest after what you've been through in the recent past and you probably might still be going through it because the recent past could be a week ago could be a month ago maybe six months ago or longer but you feel like it's time for recovery rest restoration and uh yeah you're not engaging you're blocking and avoiding potentials great potentials you got great potentials coming in king of cups is a good one and then you got all this other all these others want to engage with you but no you're going up you're going up to the top of the mountains and you lighting a candle put it in your shoe taking your dogs with you <laughs> and that's it you're done <laughs> so Pisces that's the reading that I have for you so I hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading also, I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. So, I also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it. All of you, my new subscribers, my old subscribers, the people that don't want to subscribe but that like to watch, I appreciate every last one of you. Thank you so much for watching. It helps me to grow my channel. And if you can, please hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm. So I hope you have a great day. Please come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Now keep in mind, um... I forgot to say this, but if you weren't dealing with anyone, it could be a family member. It could be uh, someone that was coming towards you. So it doesn't have to actually be a love interest. Maybe it was a situation that brought you down. Or a family member that gave you some heartbreak. So keep that in mind. So I can never say it again, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please take care of yourself during this crazy time, these crazy days that we're having. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.